to my kitchen. It's another Meatless Monday, and today we're having falafel. So good. This isn't vegan, this is vegetarian. Uh, this one, the falafel itself is gluten-free because I use gluten-free flour, but when you put the pita with it, it becomes non-gluten-free. So let's get started. It's really easy. A complete list of ingredients can be found in the info. You're going to need two cans of chickpeas, one egg, one half tablespoon of cumin, one half tablespoon of coriander, one half teaspoon of cayenne, one quarter cup of lemon juice, oil for frying, five scallions, two cloves of garlic, and a quarter cup chopped cilantro. Third cup gluten-free flour plus a quarter cup more and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Add the garlic cloves to the food processor and chop finely. Add the cilantro and the scallions. Whoops, I almost dropped the plate there. And when you get them all in there, again, chop it finely. Add the chickpeas after you've rinsed and drained them and pulse it for a few times. Scrape down the sides. That's the thing about using a food processor or a blender. The food creeps up the sides of the bowl very easily. Add all of the spices. Also add the lemon juice and the egg. Mix until well combined. Finally add the baking powder and the flour. Alright, tired of mixing yet? Well, too bad because you're going to have to mix it one more time. Promise, this is the last time you're going to have to mix it. When it's completely mixed, transfer it to a bowl and cover it with saran wrap and leave it in the refrigerator to rest for 30 minutes. Heat your oil on the stove at medium-high heat and when you're waiting, scoop your falafel mixture into a shallow pan with the remaining flour. Toss to coat and put it into the hot oil. You'll know it's ready when it sizzles. Cook it on both sides, turning every once in a while. You're gonna probably wanna turn it for two or three times. When it's nice and golden brown, lift it out and let it drain on some paper towels. All right, so that was pretty easy and pretty quick. Here's the results. Yum, oh yum, my yum, God, yum. Maddie came into the kitchen and was like, they're little babies. They are little babies. Well, here's some of my homemade tzatziki sauce with a little bit of uh, feta mixed in. I don't usually put feta in, but I did tonight. I'm gonna give this a go? Yeah, give it a go. There's, um, I put it in half of tiny pita with some red onion and tomato. Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'm not a fan of tahini. Amazing. You can eat it with tahini as well. Um, I hope you guys try it out because it is really, really Delicious. good. Delicious. Until next time, kids. Much love.